The following video will demonstrate the stock removal feature. The first thing to do is to set up the stock. Locate the Geometry Manager, right click and select Add Stock. There are two options, STL and Box. If you select STL, an external STL model of the stock can be imported. If you select Box, a default stock is generated and can then be edited. Once selected, you can now determine the solid setup. Check the boxes to stop the simulation if a rapid through stop and also if a tool holder collision is detected. The stock removal rendering quality can also be specified. Once the stock has been added, it will appear in the Geometry Manager. By selecting the stock, it is then possible to determine the position of the stock and also edit the stock's dimensions. In this demonstration, we are using the scanning feature. The stock has been predefined in the NC file, therefore the correct stock is automatically created when added. To enable this feature, locate Global Setup, then Scanning. Check the box beside Read to scan for the predefined stock in the NC file. Check the right box to allow the NC file to automatically update if a change has been made to the stock using the Geometry Manager. When a change has been made to the stock, an updated wireframe will appear in place of the original stock. Once all changes are made, locate and select Regenerate Solid. You can then right click in the Geometry Manager and save the setup. This will automatically update the stock definition in the NC file. Once the solid setup is complete, you can now go ahead and play the simulation. If you jump forward in the NC file, the stock will automatically update.
This was a video demonstration showing the stock removal feature within Simco Machine Simulation.